So if you've been playing Tekken 7 and have fought against a King player, then 9 times out of 10 you've probably been on the receiving end of his Moonsault unblockable at the wall. You're asking, um, how do you deal with this? What could be done about it? And the answer is, nothing. Hold that. I'm just kidding with you guys. But I will show you how to deal with it and the most common setups for it at the wall. Before we get into the video, you guys make sure you like and hit subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me off the algorithm and uh, enjoy the video. Let's get to it. If King like does a full carry, right? Let's just imagine it's a full carry and he does this ender here. That's not free. You can roll out of that. You can just lay there. And front row. That's because it's it's too many hits. Now, if he does one or just two hits after the uh, the wall splat, then yeah, you you have to hold that. <laughs> yeah, like this. Yeah, you're not a uh, front rolling out of that one because it's two hits. But out of that uh, like low slump here, see how quick you get up. But yeah, when I do when I do the um, like the back four. Let me show you the, the reason why I'm doing back four. Look at that. It does way more damage if you wait and then do it compared to just rapid fire. Like if you rapid fire Moonsault, it's going to do 15 damage every time. No matter the angle. But his back turn Moonsault has uh, two different damages. See? It does 30 up close, but like at the last... Uh, piece of the animation it does 35 yeah you see that it hits real late 35 damage if king does just one hit and it's like flush with the wall then you have to hold that usually any kind of moonsault is gonna catch you and there's nothing you can do about it like nine times out of ten see one hit you can't even side roll you try to tech roll Nine times out of ten, you know, you get hit. So it's best if you see King doing something that's that's not these three kicks, your best option is just to lay there. Because the thing is, if you get hit by a grounded, King automatically does this roll. Like after he rolls on you, he rolls to the side automatically. I wish he didn't have to do that. But since he does. You can always, almost always get a, uh, like a guaranteed low kick. Yeah, you see that? It says punish. So, just keep in mind, when, when a king player is, like, take you to the wall, look out for how many hits he does before going for that moonsault. So, um, yeah, if you... If you get hit by either one or two hits, don't tech roll. Just just let them hit you with the moonsault. It's gonna do like 15 damage. Even less, uh, I think it's even less, yeah. Front facing is even less than 15. It's like, hold on, let me uh, show you guys. So I'm just gonna do a uh, full carry here. Wait, oh, I had him getting up. Oops. Eleven. <laughs> and then he gets kicked for it. Then he has to tech roll. Then he has to wake up on Oki. So, yeah, don't, just don't wall tech. Just don't do it. So, yeah, hopefully that, um explains the whole unblockable moon salt stuff that's that's the entire reason why i um do the uh the late one from back four because it does more damage it can it can be either 15 or 24 damage if you delay it long enough I'm trying to show you guys hold up Yeah, you see that? That's worth the risk. That's worth losing my turn. That is worth getting hit and having to guess, you know, the Oki and all that, because I'm 
I'm pretty confident in my defense. So that's that's when you do that. You do that when you're confident in your defense. You know, you have a, a decent life lead. You can go for that. You can go for that. That's why I do the uh, the back four to Moonsault. It's because it, it hurts. It's a very good, viable, like, combo ender. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, just... Keep all that in mind. Just remember, three hits, lay there, roll forward. One or two hits, definitely do not attack roll. Just lay there, eat the unblockable. Nine times out of ten is guaranteed anyways. The only gray areas with it is like if you're um, like close to the side, then that's when it can, it can miss sometimes. I don't know which side it is. I think it's this one. Yeah, I think Lars could have possibly gotten away from that. Um, yeah, you see that? Yeah, those those are the nuances. Is if 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 he's like off axis to that side a little bit, then yeah, it can whiff. But other than that, just don't tech roll. <laughs> just let him have it. Let him have that little eleven damage combo. <laughs> You get your free ghetto kick anyways. Yeah, just let them have it. Down forward, um, 4-3 can be stopped with a spring kick, right? You can, you can actually, um, I don't know about a spring kick. Um, it might even trade. Yeah, I, yeah, I've seen it trade before, though. Let me see. Yeah, I think it's like right here at this angle. Or is it this angle? It's, it's one of these angles where it, the spring kick will, um, it'll trade and it sucks because you, you get hit by it. King can tech roll before you, so it's not a good option to use. You say you think it's the King and Eddie? Yeah, I haven't even tested that one out. Because it's just so risky. Yeah, yeah, okay. That gets away. That doesn't look worth it, though. <laughs> You get out of there, but, uh, hold up. Let me see. Oh, wow. You see the recovery? My goodness. After you do that spring kick, you're sitting there for a very long time. Yo, look at that recovery. <laughs> that recovery is ridiculous. Hopefully that shed some light on the unblockable moonsault and you guys know what to do at the wall when King is in in a combo with it, you know, make sure you don't tech roll and lay there, get the free damage. So the Moonsault is a commonly used move by every King player, but is it one of his top 10 moves? I'm sure you want to find out, yo. You want to see his top 10 moves? Check out this video right here.